guys, it's Will, it's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you. And if you feel like subscribing, that would be awesome. I want to give a huge shout out to all their subscribers. We're um, doing really well recently. Uh, we're adding a lot of new subs. And obviously, everyone who has been subscribed since the beginning or any other period since starting this channel, thank you, because it's the reason this channel exists. And the comments are awesome. I love responding to people in the comments and having conversations down there. People email me. I love that. I've met so many awesome people through this channel. And we're on the road to 3,000 now. That's insane to me, because we had less than 1,000 at the beginning of 2021, and now we're almost at 3,000. So thank you, truly everyone for subbing. So what are we here to talk about today? New Blu-ray releases, Spectrum Films, amazing company out of France. If you've seen my Spectrum Films Blu-ray label spotlight, you will know about them. I did a whole video that was like 30 minutes long that had like dozens of clips in it from their releases. I talked about all the things they've put out. I showed off all the movies and stuff like that. You'll see a lot of them behind me here. Uh, Hero Never Dies, The Longest Night, Expect the Unexpected, The Story of Wu Viet. Um, and then up at the top here, we have Full Alert, and then there's more of their releases behind me. Incredible company. They put out so many great films from Hong Kong, Japan, Taiwan, like all these different places. They put out mainland Chinese films. So check them out. I will put a link in the description of this video to their website. They have released two new Hong Kong titles that I'm really excited about. And uh, I'm just going to talk to you quickly about those, and then I will be out of your hair. So first up, we have Burning Paradise. This is a Ringo Lamb film. I have never seen this film, but if you watch this channel, you know that I am a huge fan of Ringo Lamb. As you can see, I have Wild Search right here. That's one of my favorite, favorite movies, not just Hong Kong, but like period. I just love that movie to death. On this channel before, I've reviewed, I think, two of his, his Van Damme films. Um, I've talked about Full Contact before. I've talked about City on Fire, Prison on Fire. I actually just unboxed a VCD of Prison on Fire recently and a Blu-ray of School on Fire. That was in that huge unboxing from Charles, so huge shout out to Charles. If you didn't see that, go to the channel and check it out. It's called like Mega Unboxing. It's like 55 movies. Totally insane and amazing. So this is a wuxia film, a martial arts film. This is Ringo Lamb's only like period martial arts film. All his other stuff is like contemporary action and heroic bloodshed and type, types of films like that, dramas and stuff. Um, and uh, I, like I said, I've never seen this, but I have spoken to people who have seen this, people around the world, people in the UK, people in Hong Kong. And uh, what they tell me is that it is batshit insane. <laughs> And it's like, it's Shaolin monks versus, uh, I think, like Manchu warriors or something like that. But it has like a House of Traps kind of element where they like booby trap the Shaolin temple or something like that. And it's like really gory and, and great, like really kind of like, there was something I read on Wikipedia, one of the reviewers in the UK when the movie came out called it sadistic. So I'm like, okay, well, let's see where that goes. It sounds bananas. And I'm really excited about it. So look forward to that from Spectrum Films. Um, I'm trying to find a release date on that one. Uh, I know that it's they've, they've posted the cover art on their Instagram. So um, it's coming. But uh, I, I don't know the exact date on that. So maybe, you know, just watch this channel and I'll keep you updated when I know more about the exact release date on that one. Um, and then coming in uh, two months is what it says here on their... Uh, Instagram, so I'm going to assume that that's a November release. We are getting the Magic Crystal. Hell yeah. So this is released on Blu-ray already in Hong Kong. If you're unfamiliar, it's Andy Lau, it's Cynthia Rothrock, uh, Richard Norton is in this movie. It is a Wong Jing film. Wong Jing is awesome. Uh, so Wong Jing did God of Gamblers. Wong Jing did Prince Charming, which I have previously reviewed on this channel. Wong Jing did, I think Wong Jing was involved in Seafood vs. Vampire, which I also reviewed on the channel. I don't know if he wrote that movie or directed that movie, but he's involved in that movie heavily. Um, and just all, he, he's done like plenty of, you know, he did like City Hunter and all these classic kind of Hong Kong films. Films. um and he's like a nutcase <laughs> you know his movies are just nuts he has this like insane sense of humor and he just makes crazy movies and they're always really 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 fun he's a very good writer um which i think is an underappreciated skill of his like his structure is fantastic he has a really really strong sense of the structure of like traditional kind of narrative cinematic stories um and i was especially when i watched prince charming i was like really impressed with the the because you know typically in hong kong screenplays aren't as as written is that if that's a word that you could use as they are in Hollywood where like they go over it a million times and like you know like I interviewed Simon Wilson who was in the film Vampire's Breakfast and he said the script for Vampire's Breakfast was literally one sheet of eight and a half by eleven paper that just had an outline of scenes on it and the director would be like we're filming this today and like all the dialogue was improvised and, like I know that not every film is like that like I know you know like films like Infernal Affairs are probably highly scripted and films like like the Johnny Toe films I think are very highly scripted but um that's not always the case and so I've always been impressed with Wong Jin like really precise scripting and structure and stuff like that so um 
Yeah, so it's a Blu-ray release, and uh, it's going to be, you know, True HD, because Spectrum Films always does great work with their releases, like film scans, uh, remasters, stuff like that. So Magic Crystal and Burning Paradise, Burning Paradise from Ringo Lam, Magic Crystal, the, the Wong Jing film, which, like I said, is already out in, in on Blu-ray in Hong Kong, and I've heard good things about that Blu-ray. So I'm excited to check this out. These are from Spectrum Films. So I should say that Spectrum Films, because they are a French company, typically their releases are Cantonese with French options. So I don't know, like dub or, or subtitle or whatever. So if you don't speak French or Cantonese, that can be a bit daunting. But as you can see, I have a butt ton of Spectrum releases. What I do is I just put them on my computer with a Blu-ray drive, and then I, I can find English subtitle files online, and I just drop them in there. I actually did a video about how I watch these releases that's on the channel. Uh, but it's really pretty simple. If you have a Blu-ray drive, USB, plug that into your computer, put the movie on your computer, and then just drop in an English language subtitle file and it usually syncs up perfectly, and I, I've never had any problem with it. So Spectrum Films, my name is Will. This is Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. I thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you for subscribing. It's been awesome doing this channel, and we will see you next time.